Okay, let's talk about uh, levodopa. A 63-year-old male presents to a clinic complaining of the gradual onset of stiffness in his extremities. He also tells you that he has recently noticed a tremor in his right arm. As you're interviewing the patient, you notice that he has a blank expression on his face. Physical examination is significant for cogwheel rigidity in all extremities, a pin-rolling tremor, and a shuffling gait. While ordering further tests, you decide to start the patient on a medication that will act to increase the levels of dopamine in his brain. So this is level, level dopa. Level dopa is in, converted into dopamine in the brain by dopa decarboxylase by, after crossing the blood-brain barrier, thereby leading to increased levels of dopamine in the central nervous system. Clinical uses, this is a first-line treatment for Parkinsonism which is a condition associated with a loss of dopaminergic neurons in the basal ganglia. Side effects, dyskinesia and sporadic movements, cardiac arrhythmias, uh, caused by peripheral conversion of levodopa to dopamine, nausea and vomiting, hallucinations, depression. Other, um, levodopa is administered in combination with uh, carbidopa, which is a drug that inhibits dopa decarboxylase only in the periphery, since carbidopa is unable to cross the blood-brain barrier. By using carbidopa, the side effects of increased dopamine levels in the periphery are limited, and the bioavailability of levodopa is increased in the brain. So, um, also other anti-Parkinson's uh, Parkinsonism agents include other dopamine, dopamine agonists uh, and MAL type B inhibitors, for example, seligaline. So remember that some of the side effects are dyskinesia, uh, cardiac arrhythmias, and that it is a first line treatment for Parkinson's, and that levodopa is converted into dopamine in the brain.